What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane. Welcome back to the Minnesota Gophers Dynasty. Today we'll find out if the Minnesota Gophers are headed to a bowl game or if the season ends here on the road against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Minnesota has lost three games in a row and now our only shot at making it to a bowl game is taking down the number 24 team in the nation. We have to correct the mistakes that have plagued us over this three game losing streak. We cannot afford to have our offense continue to be one dimensional and turn the ball over. We have to correct our mistakes, otherwise we'll be sent packing. This game decides our season. Well, we're not in Minnesota, but the conditions look familiar. Here in the snow, Minnesota trying to become bow eligible. It's the last chance as we're underway and Ryan Santoso kicks it away. Tyree fields in the end zone and he'll take a knee. The Rutgers offense comes out, led by Chris Laviano, the quarterback, leads this team in passing and rushing. No doubt we've got to contain him and keep him in the pocket. Out of the shotgun, Laviano back to pass, and here's the blitz from Minnesota as Laviano goes down. We want to pressure the quarterback today. Dan Smith gets the sack. Now trying to force a three and out on third and 13. Peoples off the screen up to the 30. Leaps and taken down in midair by Antonio Johnson. And they mark him just shy. A huge collision as he tried to hurdle over Eric Parker and Antonio Johnson. The senior safety was right there. Minnesota forces the punt and here comes the diamond package from the field. Handoff and coming from Berkeley Edwards as the play is broken up in the backfield and Edwards loses three. The run game has really struggled during this last part of the season. Third down and 13, Leidner in the pocket, facing the rush. Lost the ball but picked up by Isaac Hayes. Not much we could have done there. Good coverage and good pass rush as both teams have gone three and out. Here is Morris on to punt as he kicks it away at his own 39. Here's Tyree on the return. Gets a block up past midfield and wrapped up at the Minnesota 45. A 17 yard return. Rutgers in Dover territory. Drive begins in the shotgun as the give is the people's inside and he carves through the Minnesota defense as this is our biggest weakness. Last week we saw it against Wisconsin. We have a lot of trouble even touching the running back when he runs up the middle. Screen again for Peoples, watch out for a hurdle. He does leap over a defender but he's out of bounds after a gain of four. Now we'll try to force a field goal attempt from the shotgun. Laviano blitz in, coming, pass outside, he gets rid of it. We send the extra rushers again and it works in our favor as fourth down, Rutgers kicks the field goal. Quick update as Ohio State has completed the undefeated season. 27-24, a narrow victory over Michigan. 3-0 Rutgers here in the first quarter as Leidner back to the air on first and 10. Caught by Harbison, but he lost the ball. And Rutgers has recovered. We always wonder in these type of games if weather will play a factor. I'm not sure that was the case here, but Harbison lost the football, and Minnesota has turned it over. Rutgers has great field position as Laviano. Here's the read option as he keeps it looking for a block in the secondary. He shakes a tackle, and Laviano into the end zone. First play of the drive, 29-yard touchdown run, 10-0 Rutgers. An early hole for Minnesota. We've got to get out. Four and a half to play in the first quarter. Leidner facing the blitz, but gets it out to the flats, and it's caught by Martindale, who picks up enough for a Minnesota first down. That's been the only impact our running backs have really had lately in the passing game. Second and 12, dumped off again. This is Martindale, picks up a solid chunk of yardage here with a gain of nine, making it third down and three. Split backs next to Leidner from the shotgun. Rutgers brings three. Leidner, check down, caught by Lamar Washington. He has the first down again. That's three check downs on this drive as Rutgers is having pretty good coverage downfield. Split shotgun again. Now a short pass caught by Jamel Harbison. He hangs on to the football and jukes ahead as he does appear to have the first down. He gains nine. Already an eight play drive for Minnesota as Leidner fakes the give and he'll keep it. Running outside as he picks up the first down and takes the contact. But a new set of downs for Minnesota. Long drive. Kirkpatrick in motion. Here's the give to Martindale. Trying to find some room off the left side and it's closed in quickly as he maybe picks up five. Do Minnesota continue this slow possession? Third and inches inside the Tyler Hartman who just barely got the first down. And Minnesota again moves the chains to the diamond package. A three-man front for Rutgers as the handoff goes inside. It's Tyler Hartman again trying to establish any semblance of a running game. It's been really tough seeing a run game struggle like this. Third and inches. Hartman gets it again and his power will be enough as Minnesota is rewarded with a first down in goal. 
Now can Minnesota finish the drive? Three wide in the formation. Pistol set as the handoff goes inside to Kevin Martindale. He's hit immediately and maybe picks up two. Third down and goal for Minnesota. Trying to put a dent in this 10-point lead. Here's the snap. Leidner fake to Martindale. Out of the pocket to his right. He throws to the end zone and touchdown to Drew Olatarski. Take your pick. There was three receivers open. And we go to Drew Olatarski for his 10th touchdown reception. Double digits for the junior. He's had a fantastic year. 10-7, Rutgers leads. Laviano takes the snap, looks to escape the pocket. He evades one defender and gets hit very hard after a four-yard pickup. Third down and three for Rutgers. Two receivers left. Shotgun formation. Laviano fakes and he has room to the outside. Keeping across the 40. Chased by Andre Gaines as he's wrapped up in gopher territory. A 27-yard run. Just over six minutes to play in the second quarter. Minnesota showing blitz and Laviano will run to the outside. Has more room as he's trying to drive through a tackle and gets hit by Andre Gaines. Again, Laviano takes the hit. He's already run for 66 yards, so now you have to think about going single high safety, spine, linebackers, things of that nature. Laviano wanting the run again, and this time Jack Lynn was ready. It's only a gain of three, which is manageable. Now third down and six. Minnesota brings four. Laviano has a man open outside. This is Brown. Catch inside the 10 as he runs to the six-yard line and is taken down for a gain of 18. I expect more read option here inside the 10 as Laviano fakes. He wants to run and he won't escape the backfield. Matt Henderson makes the play to lose three yards. We've made a couple adjustments. Second and goal. Now an option to the right side and Sauls Waddell makes the play on Laviano. Back-to-back -back plays result in a net loss of seven. Third down and goal. Minnesota can play a little bit softer now. Only a three-man front as Laviano looks to the air. Dumps it off to Peoples. Inside the five and wrapped up at the four-yard line as Rutgers will be held to a field goal attempt. Minnesota down by six. Three and a half before halftime as Leidner looks to go to the play action and out of the pocket to his right. Being chased off balance and his throw was a little off the mark and that will force third down and 12. Minnesota stacking receivers to the left, including Adam Kirkpatrick split wide. It's a shot downfield for Adam Kirkpatrick, and the pass is intercepted. Leidner took a shot. That's Minnesota's second turnover. Interception 19, a cringeworthy number, I know. Rutgers ball as Peoples gets the sweep to the outside, and Minnesota, they're attacking the line of scrimmage, and they make another play in the backfield. We have a chance to get off the field here on third and nine as a draw play to Peoples and disruption for Maurice Manning. They try to sneak a draw inside past our best defensive lineman. You see how that went. Two minutes to play in the first half as Martindale gets the carry and he gets stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain. He's looking one dimensional again. Leidner throwing on second and ten going short. Caught by David Clark on the crossing pattern for a four yard reception. Third down for Minnesota. They keep five wide on the field. Three to the right side as Leidner to the air. Looking over the middle. Caught short by Harbison to the marker and that's a favorable spot. We'll take it. First down, Gophers. Still a lot of time on the clock as Leidner fakes. Standing tall, looking over the middle, and the catch is hauled in by Jamel Harbison. Another nice catch in traffic. We're at the edge of Santoso's field goal range. Third down and six. Leidner blitz in, coming, and the pressure gets to him as Leidner goes down, and the Gophers are not in field goal range. Couple guys getting open. There was Kirkpatrick maybe on the left side, Watarski there, but time ran out. Minnesota down by six at the half. Can we turn this around and get the victory we need? Through one half in the snow, Minnesota down by six. 13 to seven Rutgers, but Minnesota has the ball to open the third quarter. It's a counter play for Berkeley. Edwards who picks up a solid gain, 10 yard carry. It's been a while since we saw this rushing game being a major factor. Now Edwards has positive yardage. Second down, Leidner to the air, man open. It's Wolotarski with the catch. 13 yards and a first down. Pistol formation, two receivers left. Leidner, four-man rush, pass middle. It's intercepted by Longa, and Rutgers has taken it away from the Gophers for the third time today. This is exactly what we had to avoid. Harbison on the slant, but there was Longa waiting for him as he was coming to the middle of the field. And Minnesota turns it over. Rutgers has it at their own 49. Chris Laviano, play action, deep down the middle, he passes, and it's intercepted! Ray Dixon takes it back, and he avoids contact and is still going in Rutgers territory. Down the sideline, Ray Dixon to the 10! That may be the best play I've seen the senior linebacker make. 
Dixon drops back into coverage, makes a great interception, but he's not done there. He wants the return, gets a couple nice blocks, avoids the contact. He gets inside the 30, and Minnesota's got a short field. Big hill from the defense, has Leidner going short, caught by Doug Duckett. That's a four-yard gain, third down and goal. Trying to cap the drive off with a touchdown. Kirkpatrick in the slot. And Leidner taking the snap, firing over the middle. Catch is caught by Kirkpatrick, and that's a touchdown. The Ray Dixon interception helps Minnesota take the lead as Kirkpatrick just broke the plane, and the Gophers now lead by one. First down, Rutgers after the interception. Laviano fakes it again, back to pass. Looking sideline and fires a great pass outside. That's caught by Grant for 22 yards. One of the first times we've really seen him pass it downfield. Now a screen on second down, Peoples has it, but there's Andre Gaines tracking him down from behind. Luckily he did, he had blockers out in front. Now third down, they go draw again, and it's not going to work as Peoples only gains a yard. They seem like they're very hesitant to pass. That brings up a 51-yard field goal attempt. Does he have enough? From the right hash, it's off the crossbar! The Gopher lead is safe for now as the kick was just short and Minnesota takes over with solid field position. Leidner leads the offense after a short touchdown drive. Looking to go to the run. It's Kevin Martindale, but not much room. He gains four. Second down, two receivers right, one left. Is Leidner going quick and it's caught by Wolotarski for another reception. This one's good for 11. The Minnesota passing game today has been all short stuff. Second down, and there's the rush as it gets to Leidner right after he faked the handoff. That's what happens when you miss a block. Third down and the big 17 needed. Five wide for Minnesota. Play clock winding down. The snap is off. Leidner deep, and it's caught first down. There's Drew Wolitarski. They tried to jam him, and he made that look easy. Got separation immediately. New set of downs after the big first down, and down the field again is Wolitarski. This time all by himself. This one good for 24, that's his sixth reception. Split shotgun for Minnesota, Duckett in motion. Big blitz from Rutgers. Leidner goes short, caught by Duckett, not much on the game as third and seven now faces Minnesota. Harbison and Duckett to the right from the shotgun. Here's Leidner, fake short, good coverage. Leidner goes down. Rutgers defense holds strong. Good coverage downfield and they got the quick pressure that they needed. It'll be a short field goal for Minnesota, but they lead here as we enter the fourth quarter. Minnesota, this is our last chance to become bowl eligible. The fourth quarter has to be ours. Minnesota up by four. Laviano on second down, looking to the flats. Caught by Peoples and wrapped up by Jack Lynn. The senior does not want this to be his last game. Big third down for Rutgers. They need seven. Setting up the screen. Laviano to Peoples. Chased by Peppers and down. Lost one, and the Rutgers Scarlet Knights go three and out. Minnesota football, six and a half minutes. It would be a great time for the running game to show up as Martindale gets it up the middle. He fights forward and gains a tough earned gain of seven. Nicely done, but third down and two. Minnesota's got to convert. Leidner going to the air. Looking outside, it's knocked down. Looking for Adam Kirkpatrick, and there was a man open over the middle. The offensive line actually did a pretty good job there holding up in protection, but we were a little bit more patient. We had a man open. Now can Rutgers capitalize? Minnesota crowding the line as Laviano. It's the read option as he sprints outside with room. Laviano first down and more as he picks up another solid gain. It's been a while since he really hurt us. First and 10, Laviano looking right. Man open, it's Taylor Marini, the tight end. He's close to the marker. It's enough for a Rutgers first down. Still a ton of time left in this game, 5-14. Four-man front for Minnesota, they bring four. Laviano, clean pocket, fires left, and the man is open. It's Agadosi with the 15-yard reception. A couple nice back-to-back -back throws for Rutgers as Minnesota crowding the line again, they bring the heat. Laviano trying to escape, and he won't. It's Dan Smith, his second sack on the day. Third down and 16. Minnesota playing soft, Laviano to the air, looking deep, down the sideline, man open, it's Peel and he's into the end zone, touchdown Rutgers! It was a zone coverage call and Eric Parker let Peel get behind him, it was just enough and Rutgers has taken the lead. Now it's all up to the Minnesota offense. We've got to get a big drive late. We can't afford a turnover. We've got to score. Down by three, at least a field goal. 
Lighter to the outside. There's Duckett juking and picking up about seven yards on the catch. We can continue to play it slow as we have a lot of time on the clock and three timeouts. Rutgers brings the blitz as Ladder looks to his halfback. Martindale makes the grab and gets out of bounds after picking up the first down and a gain of seven. Still a long ways to drive down the field as Leiden out of the ground. This is Berkeley. Edwards makes a move upfield and picks up about five. Still trying to find a way to incorporate the running game, but third down and two. Leidner going to the air. Quick pass outside. They left Wolotarski by himself. That's a first down for Minnesota and a big gain of 13. That's Wolotarski's eighth catch. Second down, and Minnesota sets up the screen. Edwards picks up a block, looking to the outside, staying on his feet. Flips someone over his back, and he picks up eight yards. A tremendous effort from Berkeley Edwards trying to get the first down. He stays on his feet, breaks a tackle, and look at this move as he just flips him over. Not quite enough for the first down, so third and inches. Edge of field goal range, I formation. It's Hartman. He picks up the first down and more, gaining six. Minnesota is in field goal range, but we're still driving. And now Tyler Hartman is the deep running back. He gets the carry and follows Thompson, using his power up the field as he gains seven. We have not seen this. It's a dual fullback package, and the Gophers stay with it. Hartman again up the middle as he picks up enough for the first down, and the clock will stop. It's working and we're going to stick with it. It's Hartman again. Up the middle, there's running room and he's close to another first down. He picks up a gain of 10. Now Hartman leaves the field. Martindale in his place. Thompson in the game at fullback. Martindale up the right side. Over an offender into the end zone. Minnesota's taking the lead. We did it with less than 40 seconds to go in the game. The most critical time all season, and the offense gets the touchdown. The running game comes up big in the end. Thanks to a little creativity, we have the lead. Four points, but 32 seconds for Rutgers. They have two timeouts. Laviano sets up a screen. There's open room as Peoples follows blocks up a sideline. Big gain as he's out of bounds, but that's a very good start to the drive. Rutgers is quickly at the Minnesota 49-yard line. Laviano back to pass. And he looks to escape the pressure. He gets a defender turned around on Laviano on the run. First down and more. He's caught by Ray Dixon. 16 more yards. Our defense giving up big plays in desperate need of getting a stop. 17 seconds. Laviano. He's pressure. Looks to scramble and get sacked by Maurice Manning. The clock running inside 10 seconds. They have a timeout, but they're hurrying up and trying to get back to the line. Five seconds. They'll have to use their timeout as the clock is still running. One second and the game is over. Rutgers does not use their timeout as they try to get back to the line. Minnesota is bowl eligible. It's a weird ending and Minnesota gets the victory. The losing streak is over. We've made it to six and six thanks to a very weird ending. Gophers win 24 to 20 and yeah, the ending there's a flaw with something, but not much you can do about it. Minnesota gets the victory. The offense, we had to overcome turnovers and the ground game again, kind of being a non-factor. The Ray Dixon interception ended up being maybe the biggest play of the game. And then putting Tyler Hartman at running back was just something I thought of late, trying to get some yardage inside and play it conservative. And that ended up being a big reason why we ended up winning the game. One last look at scouting for the regular season as Terrence Johnson is now a member of our recruiting class. Another good receiver. I'm always looking for them. It's now 11 guys in our recruiting class as we advance to conference championship week. And we'll finish the regular season with 11 players committed to the team for next season. We still have a lot to do in the offseason with some of the top prospects still on our board, including our number one guy all year, Joey Williams. But we'll focus more on recruiting later as Minnesota, we've made it to 6-6. Six and six. What awaits us now that the regular season has come to an end? Minnesota will play in the Gator Bowl against the Arkansas Razorbacks. Two 6-6 six six teams, we're trying to snap the bowl losing streak. It's been a long time since 2004. Looking at their roster, I know we're going to have to contain their running back. Alex Collins is a very good player. And their head coach, Brett Bielema, is on the hot seat. So it's going to be a huge game. We've lost three bowl games in this series. Can we finally get over the hump with some of the key seniors on this team playing their last game? Thanks for watching, guys. Season 4 comes to an end next as Minnesota takes on the Arkansas Razorbacks. Does the losing streak come to an end? We'll find out.
Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the Gator Bowl against Arkansas. Have a great day.